Fastchance Goods and Services. I'm a master crocheter with more than 30 years experience teaching and traveling all over the world. And today I'm going to show you how to do a front post double crochet cross. To make this swatch, I simply chained 16 and then I did two rows of single crochets. So the swatch has a uh, has an area of 15 single crochets. To do a front post double crochet cross, you're going to single crochet in the first two stitches. You're going to, remember you have to know where you are in your uh, current stitch, which is right here. That's that one here on the two rows below. You have to know where you were and where you will be. If you're going to do a front cross, then you yarn over, this is where you are. You're going to do a front post double crochet, right leaning. Then you're going to cross over. This is still where you are, but you go to where you were. This is where you are. This is the stitch that's right there. This is the stitch you used for right there. And you need the stitch where you were. So cross over, yarn over, insert, insert your hook there, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, draw up two loops, yarn over, draw up two loops. You have two stitches here. One, two. So you have to skip two stitches on row two. So skip, skip, single crochet. That is a front post double crochet cross. That is a front post double crochet cross. This will create a very pretty rope pattern when it is done correctly. This stitch here, this stitch here is right there. The stitch before it is right here. The stitch after it is right there. Yarn over, stick in, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up uh, two loops. This is the stitch here. This is it there. Okay. This is the next stitch right there. This is the stitch before it. Yarn over. You go to the next stitch, front post double crochet. Skip this one, but then go back, yarn over, and do one beneath there. Skip two there, single crochet in the next stitch. You're doing literally one front post double crochet right leaning and then one front post double crochet left leaning back to back and it takes up two stitches. This is this stitch here. This is the next stitch. Technically it's that one there, but we're gonna use it now. Yarn over, stick in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up two loops, yarn over, pull up two loops, and then go to the stitch you just missed. The other stitch, right there. One, two. This is this stitch here. This is the stitch, the next stitch. This is the stitch you just skipped. One, two. And then single crochet in the last two stitches.
and then single crochet in each stitch across. Yarn out, uh, chain one, turn, single crochet in each stitch across. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And that's what the pattern looks like when it's just one. You'll see this much more clearly once you get up to row seven, as is the trick case with basically all Aran crochet. Single crochet in the first two. This stitch is here. This stitch is there. But we are doing a cross, so you're going to skip this stitch, yarn over, stick into the stitch that's on top, yarn over, pull up a two. Uh, you, Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up two loops, yarn over, pull up two loops, yarn over again. This time you stick into the stitch that's on bottom. And it can get tight, and that's fine. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up two loops, yarn over, pull up two loops. And you skip two stitches on the back. Single crochet there. And here you see the pattern start to be a little bit clearer. Again, yarn over, stick your hook into the loop, into the stitch that's on top, make a front post double crochet. Now in the same area, yarn over, and this time just stick your hook into the loop, into the section that's on bottom. And do a front post double crochet there and skip two stitches on the back. Single crochet in the next stitch. Again, front post double crochet around the stitch that's on top. And front post double crochet around the stitch that's on the bottom. This is where you start talking about front, mid, uh, front, front, middle, middle. Single crochet. This is the stitch that's on front. This first stitch that's on top is in the front. The stitch that's on, the stitch that's between the front and the middle is the front middle, and you stick your stitch, stick your hook there. And again, skip two and single crochet in the last stitch. And go ahead and do single, a row of single crochets on the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 13, 14, 15. For the next one, single crochet in the first two stitches. Again, this is the stitch that's on top. This is the stitch, this right here is the stitch on top. This right here is the stitch that's on the top middle. Let me show it to you. And this right here is the middle. So single crochet, or sorry, front post double crochet for the stitch that's on top. 
front post double crochet for the stitch that's in the top middle. And then skip two stitches on the back. Single crochet, regular single crochet in the next stitch. And there you see the rope pattern very fairly clearly. Again, if you need to manipulate the fabric a little bit, you can. And lastly, there it is. Practice this as much as you need. This can be difficult, but you've already learned the hardest part in crocheting, which is, you know, the slip knot. But that's the pattern right there. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons and God bless.